Hello there everyone and happy Easter for yesterday. I know I am late but I wasn't at home so there you go. I hope it's been great for all of you but in the meantime like I said I just came back and this little cutie pie is actually finished for us. So let's open it up and this is actually the little chick dragon which is basically what should be the mascot for this channel from the looks of things. Timid as a turtle in most social situations, this trainer hopes that one day the little trick dragon can work up the nerve to finally come out of its shell. I'm sure he will one day. And we do actually have a spot for this guy over here. And he's called DM. Isn't that uh, the clay dragon's old name? I think it is. Oh, but look at him. Look at him walk. Oh, and look at his little tail flooping. His little tail likes to floop around. It does kind of seem weird that this is a dragon. Like, it's like, look at those wings. This does not look like a dragon. This looks like a little chick. But it is called the little chick dragon for a reason, I guess. So, yeah. Let's say goodbye to this cute little baby boo. Oh, you are so cute, though. You are so perfect. Oh, you even gave me a gem, you little goody boo. But he is really cute. So, let's feed him up. Feed him up to, like, level 8. There we go. And just look at this guy. I mean, it still doesn't really look like a dragon. It does just look like a little chicken. But that's fine. I mean, it does have horns and stuff. But I love this dragon. Like, if there's some way I could work out how to make this into, like, my YouTube logo or something, or on my channel art, I would. But I am not that adventurous. But yeah, I'm so happy we got this guy. And we actually still have three days left to do the remainder of the Sweet Treat event. We are on tier 9 at the moment and that is more than enough time to finish the last two tiers since I am off tomorrow so I'll have easy access to repeating all of these. So for this tier we have to catch creatures, feed dragons and win battles in the dungeon. So it seems there's 30 in the catch creatures sort of, what's it called, item pool. There's four for feed dragons, and for wind battles in the dungeon, it's usually two or three, but we'll have to do those in a minute. But yeah, we got DM. How sick is that? And on top of that, there is actually a new dragon of the week. I will be doing this video on how to get this guy in the percentages straight after this, but the way to breed it is using the Nightshade and Lumino dragons. So, I have tried them once already but let's go I don't think that is the carnival at all because the carnival does have the light typing meaning that with VIP it's probably gonna be more than 10 hours by far and someone's fingers are suffering I'm sorry Larissa Larissa's always the MVP of our clan while I was gone, nine clan quests got done and there you go some more clan coins are coming our way I don't know what is happening. That's probably Larissa doing that, so thank you. But we are really behind on clan points because I am gone quite often. But we are about to le hit level 6 of the clan, so we'll get more spots for members if you want to join. Seems like most people are actually joining in, so that's pretty cool as well. Yes, Larissa, you should stop, for now at least. But, on top of that, to get those clan points, we actually have to fight in the clans here. And it seems like it's actually working now, since the points are actually going towards it. So, we might as well do all these fights quick, and then we'll get on to doing the dungeon fights. Since, we can actually focus on doing them properly now. And not having to spend gems on doing so. Speaking of which, ignore the amount of gems I have. Since there is a massive gem sale on at the moment, I thought, I know I'm going to spend them. So, there they are. Please don't hurt me. I think I said that last time as well, but don't judge me. Ah, oh, but I tell you what, I hate public service. No matter which country I'm in, it just sucks. Like the other day I was at the train station 
and they had replacement buses, and then the bus just never turned up for an hour. So I was just sitting there in the rain for an hour because nobody decided to turn up when they were meant to. And then today, I had to catch a regular bus, so not even a rail replacement bus, and guess what happened? It was 45 minutes late. And because of that, I ended up sitting in the rain, and on top of that, it was hailing. So thank you, public service. You have definitely made me happy today. And two days ago, I can't believe it. How can you be a bus driver and just completely miss a bus station? Like, yeah, maybe you'll miss the occasional bus stop, but not an entire bus station where, like, 500 people are getting on buses. Like, who does that? How can you miss that? How can you be that lost? Even if you're brand new, I don't think you'd just forget where the station is, somehow. And why would you leave people there? I know it's Easter, but that's an excuse to just leave all your passengers at the bus station with no way to get home. Jesus, if you're going to get paid time and a half, why do that? I just hate people sometimes. I really do. It's like, you can love people and then the next day they'll do something like that that just makes you think, why? Why would you do that? But there is my partial rant about public service. Or public transport, I should say, not public service. I mean, in Australia, the buses are only once every hour, or on the weekends where I lived, it was once every three hours, which is pretty damn bad, if you ask me. But if they're gonna say that there's gonna be a bus every half an hour, there should be a bus every half an hour. It's like, I don't care when the bus actually gets there. As long it's, as it arrives when you say it's meant to. Like if you're gonna say the bus will come at 38 minutes past 2, the bus should be there. You don't ignore people waiting at the bus stop. I, just, I should stop. I just hate people. Sometimes. Why? Why did it happen the last twice I have tried to leave work? in a row. It's one of those things where it just makes you think, are people out to get you? Because I don't know anymore. It feels like they are. Feels like they're going out of their way to make me angry. Ugh. But, aside from my Easter experiences, what have you guys actually been getting up to? I mean, I know that school's out for now. People that are working, that's not gonna make any difference. But for those of you that do go to school still, I'm sure you're actually pretty happy about that. And these dragons are gonna die. But, I mean, I guess I'm still happy because it means I don't know actually. I don't think the school holidays make any difference to me anymore. Not really, no. So ignore that. I can't believe these dragons didn't die to that dragon fury. But I didn't meet up with family or anything, so if you guys did, I hope it was fun. Or if you just decide to hang out with people for the whole holidays, that'll be fun. Or if you just decide to sit inside, eat chocolate, and just not worry. That's cool too. Me, I'm just sitting here playing Dragon Mania Legends because I'm actually not off work for any of Easter. So there you go. I mean, these dungeon fights are annoying, and I hope there are some lower level dungeon fights so the other two dragons can actually deal with it. Because that's what the strat is for this dungeon. 
for me at least. Demi's level 50. Reptar is level 50, sorry. So Reptar can pretty much just one-shot everything that's here. Whereas having our Ottoman Clay Dragons fight alongside each other usually means that they can take on the other three fights without having to use Reptar. Come on! I can't kill anything! Damn it! Maybe I should just focus on taking out two dragons instead of all of them. I don't know, it's just these fights are going to take forever if I keep doing this. It's not going to cause me any issues, but it's just longer than it should be. But I guess when we're done with the battles with Reptar, it's not going to be as bad. And whoa, did you see that lag? Surely I am not the only one that saw the game lag, just there. Uh, like, it kind of just skipped, like, ten frames. And the last time that happened, the game just crashed and removed my dungeon progress. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen again. Please don't crash. Please don't crash on me, I beg. Yeah, this fight here has level 40s on it, so instead of using Reptar here, what we're going to do is we're going to switch to Andy and Dean. And just some random thing. The Nightmare Dragon, we'll use him. So, I mean we could probably do this without our Clay Dragon. But, you can see that by using our clay dragon, we can do this. By doing that, it means everything dies. Very quickly. Why is this game being so slow today? I don't know. But yeah, that's so much quicker than having to do the fight with the comet dragon. Which is the main reason I like to do it. Is this even going to take out this guy? Probably not. We'll see. Just. Just about. That's not too bad. And this Warlord Dragon, he's just going to get pooped on. Just boop! And then get poisoned. That's right. And you're not going to do anything here, so there you go. And it's easy piece 11 squeezy like that. We've actually gotten three of those eggs so far, and we've got another level 40 fight, so we might as well just do this one. And this bra I'm wearing is so tight! I actually need to get rid of it. It's gonna suffocate me. I tried to ignore it, but I can't. It's too much. Damn it! How hard does it have to be? Just come off! There we go. Jeez. It's actually a workout trying to get that off. Whew. Like, if you're a guy, you just don't understand how difficult it is sometimes. Especially as soon as you get back from work and it's been digging into you all day. That you have to pretend like it doesn't hurt. That's the worst. Oh, Here we go. Let's do our final fight with Dean. Not Dean! Reptar. I swear my brain, as soon as I try and think of my dragon names, it just goes into meltdown. There we go, it's poisoned. And the reason that those level 43s can't actually kill our level 30 dragons, if you didn't already know, is because they have Reptar's Storms of Bruin ability. No matter how much they attack, they just don't have the damage to take them out. So that's why I always really like Storms of Bruin, because of situations like this, where we only have one really high level dragon and the other two are like completely useless. They can't even take them out. So that actually works out pretty good. I mean look at all that damage we deal with the Coral Dragon and the Golden Crow, look at that. Look at this health bar, it's like non-existent. 
And that was definitely sarcasm, if you couldn't pick up on that. But let's do some Dragon Fury. Let's see if we can focus down just these two here. Well, we took out one of them. That's better than I expected. So we can focus these down now and probably take it out. And why was there a flicker? Help me, everything is breaking. Oh, mate, revitalizing is not going to help you. It's cute that you're trying, but I can tell you right now it's not going to work. And if we get another level 45 fight, hopefully uh, Autumn Dragon can deal with it. I mean, I assume he would, but we will have to see. Yeah, it's a level 45 anyway, so we get a free dungeon completion for now. So let's, let's go. Let's wreck these guys. I wonder if there's any more new dragons part of the Easter update that we just haven't seen in game yet. I mean the little chick and the sweet treat dragons really did come out of nowhere without any prior warning that it had happened so there's probably a good chance of it happening but we will have to see. And I mean we've almost got all of the clan dragons already so there's not a whole lot more for us to do in terms of the clan stuff apart from just collecting all the ones for the guardian. But that's going to take forever. Uh, it's going to take so long for us to get that guardian dragon. And for those of you that don't want to spend any money on this game that's going to take you forever as well. So I hope you guys actually get into a good clan. And they just do all the work for you, or help you out at least. Let's open this. I don't know what's in it. Whoa! Okay! Okay, I didn't actually think we'd get the cotton tail, but there you go. We actually did. That is sweet. That's pretty good. I won't lie. Thank you, game. You've been ever so kind to me. And some more of these eggs are actually appearing for us to collect now. So I know in one of the other videos in the collect, um, what's it called, in the catch creatures, they were just little presents, but apparently now they're those. And yeah, we have the cottontail to actually hatch now. Oh, that's so sweet. Because there is the promotion to buy this guy, where is it, for £23, but it looks like we're not even going to have to even think about doing that, so that's pretty good. No progress on Magma Leia either, so yeah. Oh, I'm so happy you just got that dungeon dragon. But it has been a little bit of a elongated episode where I talked about absolutely nothing, pretty much. So I will call it a day for now, until I do the other video in like two minutes, but I will continue making progress on Sweet Search. I will wait nine hours before I will put the cottontail in and then we can hatch that guy next time. And we'll be trying for the carnival dragon still into the future. The carnival is an awesome looking dragon and it was only available as an event dragon before so good luck everyone. It's only the nightshade and lumino dragons so they're pretty easy to get hold of. But if you need any help with it like I said I'll have a video up soon. And the pixel dragon will actually be resetting to a new dragon of the month soon as well. So good luck with him. And until next time, enjoy the rest of your Easter break and the next few weeks if you're off. But good luck, and I will see you guys all then.